In this video, we study Lorentz curve as a measure of inequality. Here, we learn how to draw a Lorentz curve. Lorentz curve is a graphic method of studying variation or dispersion. It is also known as cumulative percentage curve. Max O'Learner devised this method and used by him for the first time to study the inequality in distribution of wealth in 1905. Nowadays, Lorentz curve is widely used to study the inequality of income. In this graphic method, the horizontal axis shows the cumulative percentage of one variable and the vertical axis also states cumulative percentage of another variable j x y up to this cumulative percentage is 100 percent and up to this is a cumulative percentage in y is 100 percent so it is a point of 0 0 so 0 to 100 so from this to this is a 100 comma 100 here the diagonal line states the line of equal distribution. Suppose this is the Lorentz curve or cumulative percentage curve for a, for a distribution of variable say A or say it is the Lorentz curve of distribution A and another Lorentz curve is a the Lorentz curve for distribution B. Here, a Lorentz curve nearest to line of equal distribution state less inequality. So, the inequality represented by curve B is more than the inequality represented by A. Therefore, inequality of B is greater than the inequality of A. Now we explain how to fit Lorentz curve with the help of an example. Suppose the number of families in two villages A and B with respect to their annual household income in rupees lakh are given in the following table. So household income from 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50 and number of families in village A is 3, 5, 6, 4, 2 and the number of families or number of household in village B are 8, 6, 3 to 1. Now compare the inequality of income in these two villages with the help of Lorentz curve. First of all, we take the mid value of income that is mid value of 0 to 10 is 5, 10 to 20 is 15, 20 to 30 is 25, mid value of this class is 35 and mid value of 40 to 50 is 45. Now we take the cumulative value of this mid value of income that is 5. 5 plus 15 is 20, 20 plus 25 is 45, 45 plus 35 is 80, and 80 plus 45 is 125. Now, percentage of cumulative income or cumulative income percentage are say 5 out of 125, that is 5 divided by 125 multiplied by 100 equal to 4 percent so it is 4 percent next 20 divided by 125 multiplied by 100 is equal to 12 percent so it is 12 this is how again 45 is a 36 percent and then 65 percent and last is 100%. How it is 100%? That is 125 divided by 125 
multiplied by 100 is 100 percent. Now in village a number of families are 3, 5, 6, 4, 2. Now cumulative of the number of families are 3, 8, 14, 18, 20. Now percentage of this cumulative family numbers that is 3 out of 20 is 15 percent, 8 out of 20 is 40 percent, 14 out of 20 is 70 percent, 18 out of 20 is 90 percent and 20 out of 20 is 100 percent. Similarly, we calculate the community percentage of the family numbers, sorry, number of families of village B. In village B, number of families are 8, 6, 3, 2, 1. Community families are 8, 8 plus 6 is 14, 14 plus 3 is 17, 17 plus 2 is 19, 19 plus 1 is 20. Now community percentage are 8 out of 20 is 40%, 14 out of 20 is 70%, 17 out of 20 is 85%, 19 out of 20 is 95 percent and 20 out of 20 is 100 percent. Now we put the cumulative income percentage in vertical axis that is this and horizontally we put the values of cumulative families percentage of village A and the cumulative family percentage of village B. So this is the diagram where vertically is the cumulative percentage of cumulative income and horizontally percentage of cumulative family members. Now here this point from this point is 0. So here 0 to 100 percentage and 0 to 100 percentage. So that is why it is a point of 0, 0 and here is a point of 100 comma 100. Now the diagonal line shows the line of equal distribution. Now we put 4 comma 15 that is coordinate of 4 comma 15. This is the coordinate of 4 comma sorry 15 comma 4 sorry this is the coordinates of 15 comma 4 next the coordinates of 40 comma 12 is this next 70 comma 36 is this next 90 comma 65 is this and 100 comma 100 is this now join this point with a smooth curve so this is the Lorentz curve for the distribution of the number of families in village A so let us take it the Lorentz curve of of A. Now for the distribution of B 40 comma 4 is this 70 comma 12 is this 85 comma 36 
is this 95 comma 65 is this and finally 100 comma 100 is this now join these dots with a smooth curve so this is the Lorentz curve of the distribution of B now comparing these two Lorentz curve A and B the location of A is nearest to line of equal distribution so inequality in village A is less than the inequality of income distribution in B or the inequality of distribution of income in village B is more than the distribution of inequality distribution of income in A. Thus inequality in B is greater than the inequality in A. This is how using Lorentz curve we can verify the variation or dispersions of the distribution of any variables. Thank you.